You can see that the uh, cylinders don't exactly fit inside the shape of the cowl. Um, been working with uh, Jimmy De La Garza. Shout out to him for all the CAD help with Fusion 360. Since we have CAD files for the airplane, we can recreate this cowl in the airplane, take some pictures and look at how we can get the engine to fit inside and what the uh, most aerodynamic and best looking solution for um, covering up the cylinders will be. So truth be told, yesterday I was so mad at the project that I just had to leave. And uh, it was because I was trying to take a shortcut into shaping the new rear cowls. And that looks ugly as sin. I was so mad at how it was turning out and not sure what I was doing wrong. And you know, I was spline sanding on the 45 degree angle like you're supposed to, everything. And uh, so we came up with a different method. I looked at more pictures, more examples of things that can be. And now we have a much, much, much nicer um, cowl shape. It's obviously not finished yet. Um, still plenty of spline sanding to do but um, it's gonna be a much, much nicer streamlined cowl shape. And the entire key was that yesterday I started with the uh, old cowl, which by rights is closer to the, the uh, standard defiant than my shape is. But um, for today, I decided to cut away half of the cowl and see what I could come up with. And Kevin helped me out and um, we've got it integrated into the spinner much better. We're covering up the cylinder bumps and uh, it fares into the cowl really nicely. So I'm, I'm super excited about it. Now I just need to repeat that on the other side and I can uh, make a new top cowl for the rear engine. foam shaping of the cowling done. Both sides seem to match pretty well. I templated and uh, matched left to right. The template areas that I chose were kind of specific. Here you can see the number 28 circled. That's the one that I used as my reference uh, location. That was the one with the biggest conflict with the engine and the cowl. So I made sure that I had the appropriate spacing there. Um, and matched the left side, which was the biggest conflict, to the right side. And then from there I worked aft. And then um, after I got from 28, station 28 there aft, um, I worked forward and picked whichever side I thought was nicer between the two and matched the other one to that. So I think we got a pretty good result. And now it's a matter of putting some drywall mud on so that I have a little bit finer control over the shape. finished the tooling cowl layup before it turned 100 degrees outside. You can see there the, uh, the layup on the drywall mud, which was waxed and PVA'd, and then uh, prepared for a layup. And uh, I think it looks pretty decent. I'm happy with the way the layup went. I was a little worried about doing it in 100 degree heat with that big of a layup single-handedly, but I think it turned out fine. It's uh, basically three layers of bid plus and minus 45 zero 90 and then two layers of deck cloth um, I did run out of the 7725 rutan bid so there's a little area that didn't get that coverage but since this is going to be a tooling cowl I don't think it's going to matter um, the uh, sides are, are what didn't get that so I just put the third ply on the center um, on the top of the uh, cowl so Next will be let it cure and then we'll be able to sand it and do the body work on the tooling cowl and then take a mold from that, keep all the weight in the tools instead of the finished flying parts. Mm -hmm. 